Hello friends and welcome to yet another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today under the Hospitality Management module we will talk about hotel amenities. Well if you go and check into any hotel, most of the hotel provides extra facilities and amenities which make the stay for a guest very very enjoyable as well as hassle free. In this module we will take a look at what are the different amenities provided by the hotel. Let's take a look at the agenda today. So we will talk about what exactly are hotel amenities, accessibilities, internet access, balcony with a view, kitchen facilities, personal items, childcare, fitness club, hotel sports facilities as well as refreshment which is provided by that particular hotel. So let's take a look at it. So what exactly are hotel amenities? Well, as I mentioned before, these are certain facilities like perks given by the hotel to its consumers or customers. A hotel amenity is something of a premium nature provided in addition to the hotel room and its basics while you are renting out a room at a hotel, motel or any other place of lodging. So apart from the room charge which a hotel is charging a particular guest or customer, they also give away free things which are a part of the hotel facilities. Well, talking about accessibilities, a lot of times you might get customers or guests in your hotel who are dumb, deaf or are not able to see properly, probably they are blind. So how would could, uh, you know, help those particular guests without making them feel left out? Certain things like grab bars in the bathroom, you are also giving them step free passageways so that it is safe for them to travel. Braille menus in the restaurant, uh, Braille is people who basically cannot see and hear so they have to touch and feel the menu and uh, identify the letters and alphabets in the menu. So that facility is provided by many hotels nowadays. Sign language in the lobby is for people who are not able to comprehend uh, certain things which are written so they will use the sign language to get their way across in a particular hotel. Ramp access to the entrance for people who might be old and senior citizens or people who are handicapped or on a wheelchair, a lot of times ramp facility is there in the hotel so as to make their access free of uh, you know any kind of danger. So these are certain accessibility options given to guests in a particular hotel. Talking about internet, well internet access is something that we all can swear by and if we are not connected to the internet we feel that something very major is missing in our life well even if you're traveling to a particular destination and you're staying in a particular hotel you definitely want your Wi-Fi facilities so that you can connect with your loved ones and chat with them while you are holidaying with your family and friends and hence internet access becomes very important and essential most of the companies or rather most of the hotels are definitely providing free Wi-Fi services uh, which you can use on your phone, your laptop, computer etc. Most of the hotels also provide you a balcony with a view. A balcony is nothing but a raised you know, platform that is connected to the side of a building and surrounded by a low wall or a railing. A balcony is definitely an added advantage to most hotel because when you are holidaying with your loved ones, you want to have a nice view of the scenic beauty in and around that particular city where you are located. And hence, most of the guests prefer to have a room which has a good balcony view. Talking about kitchen facilities, now many of the hotels uh, wherein uh, they also have like a nice kitchen facilities, especially for rented service apartments, which make it very easy for the people who are staying in that particular hotel or service uh, apartment to have a lot of full size or half size refrigerators, an oven, a stove as well as a sink and possibly some cabinets to keep your things. So these are basic kitchen facilities provided in case you want to make yourself a cup of tea or coffee or you want to store anything in the refrigerator. Kitchen facilities are something which are of definite help. Talking about personal items, well, when you are going and staying in a hotel, you don't want to worry about carrying your shampoos and uh, you know soap bars, etc to your holiday destination. You want to avoid carrying all these extra luggage with you. Most of the hotels provide your personal items like shampoos, conditioners, uh, you know, wash gel, washing gels, etc. as well as some bathroom slippers 
dental kits like toothpaste, toothbrush, etc. You want to live a hassle-free in, in a hassle-free environment when you are holidaying, and hence your personal items are free of cost and provided by many many hotels. Well, if you are going with your child on a holiday and you check into a hotel, most of the hotels also provide for a good childcare facility. Now, this is a specific room in the hotel which gives a lot of entertainment and things to play for your child so that they are engaged and engrossed in those activities. Most of the hotels will have things like a small play area for the toddlers or small children where they can go and spend their time with and the parents can have a good time minus the child who will be very well taken care of by the hotel people in the child care. Well, most of the uh, hotels also provide a fitness club. So if you are somebody who's very, very fitness freak, you would like to go and use the gym facilities in that particular hotel. Most of the people, uh, most of the hotel people also have the latest of equipments, your treadmill, cardio, etc. as well as weights which are given by the hotel people in that gym facilities. So you do not have to miss out on your workout even when you're holidaying. A lot of companies and hotels also provide sports facilities whether it's indoor or outdoor games like football, badminton, tennis, long tennis and as well as uh, you know indoor games like carom, uh, chess and other many different types of games facilities provided for the guests who are staying in the hotel. So you know how to really utilize your time well by playing and making sure that you are bonding with your family members and friends when you are playing certain games. Now, talking about refreshments, most of the hotels also provide you refreshments like drinks and small amount of food items that are provided for your journey or as well as your meeting as well as while you are in that particular hotel. You can order for things from the menu card whether it's a la carte or as well as buffet things. Everything is available so you do not have to worry about carrying food while you are on a journey or checking into a hotel. Well friends, this was a particular module which I have thoroughly enjoyed teaching you on hotel amenities. So the next time you go and check into a hotel, be sure that you will be provided with all of these facilities. Thank you very much and have a good day.